All right, we're doing uh, another little intro kind of summary with Carly O'Brien, our one of our facilitators for the event at uh, Lead Yourself 2018. So thank you for Thanks for having me. Doing the event and doing this. Yeah, pleasure. Um, the theme this year for the Lead Yourself event is taking action. Yes. And you know, kind of halfway in the morning, you're going to be facilitating uh, a group exercise mm -hmm. discussion. Um, so can you give us a quick little Coles notes on, on what people can expect? Absolutely. So we will have a room full of leaders. I think we're over 100 people. Yeah, we're sitting at 102 or 108 or something like that. It's an exciting room. Yeah. So a lot of uh, people who like to get things done. Taking action is sort of their MO. And so I'll be focusing our time on how to get those folks closer when they get in the parking lot at the end of the event, they're ready to go. So some things that leaders sometimes struggle with is knowing when to stop. Because sometimes we never know when to stop. I shouldn't look at you because you're driving. No, it's okay. Um, so when you to can stop. Look at, you can look at me. I'll do my best. I'm looking both ways. <laughs> yeah. So that people can know when they've actually won, where the finish line is. Right. Leaders tend to just keep on going and going and going. So sometimes knowing where that finish line actually is. So you can justifiably, because there's no Pollyannas here, you can justifiably celebrate that win. Right. And ensure that that celebration not only is rationally um, defensible, some people need a reason to have extra fun, sure. you know, but other yeah. people do, and that then they've got, they have that reason set in place, and they know what that celebration is going to be. So if they do end up in one of those dips, they can look for that uh, celebration point, be like, okay, I'm going to keep taking one more step forward, and maybe push through some obstacles or push through something next so that I can actually get this action done. That's cool. So when it, when it comes to you know learning um, events like this, mm -hmm. where where people are going to be exposed to a ton of great content, they might end up with a, you know a page of notes, you know, or pages, pages. worth of takeaways, Absolutely. right? Action steps. Yes. What what kind of things can people keep in mind, or what kind of things should a leader think about when actually taking down these notes and putting things into play, or trying to put things into play? Have their calendar out. So, so have break that one. Break that one down because you're speaking my language. <laughs> yeah. So I would hope that. Leaders uh, often say yes to things. They like to get things done, so they say yes and, and fill up their um, goal list with lots of different things. And then sometimes they look down six months and they forget to give them cre themselves credit for what they've accomplished in the last six months. But they also feel there's so much still to do on the list. Right. And so at Lead Yourself, the in my section anyway, <laughs> the list is to make sure people have their calendars out uh, so that they can start to schedule in that time and to be realistic with themselves. So often people have energy you know you're hot and you're a morning person I'm a morning person so that's my best time 6 to 10 a.m. that's when I get my best work done or my high order thinking work done so when they're looking at their calendar if you're at the beginning of a project there's lots of push the boulder stuff you have to do to get something running and momentum going so I would ask leaders to have their calendar and make sure they're booking the right kind of task for the right time of day the right season in their year in their business cycle wherever they're at so that that those ideas off that list become actions effect that they actually take. That's cool. Yeah, you know, when you were saying that, it, it made me, re it reminded me of uh, the TED talk that Jim Estel did. Mm. And he talked about this idea that uh, people often overestimate what they can do in a day and underestimate what they can do in a year. Absolutely. Jim's a smart guy. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's he it. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, does no stuff. Yes. I think it's just really interesting, though, to. You know, from a, a leadership perspective of wanting to make all this change, but to be practical in terms of, well, hey, get your calendar out because when are you going to do it? It's not like people Absolutely. are sitting, sitting around twiddling their thumbs. These people aren't, yeah, these are the busy people. Yeah, these aren't the, the thumb twiddlers. <laughs> no, yeah. not at all. That's cool. And the other piece in your calendar that just suggests is ensure that you're not implicitly voluntolding someone else that they're going to be involved in your project whatever it is on the list. So to actually book that time to talk with that person and get their buy-in, their engagement, time on their calendar to help the project move forward. And why why is that important when it comes to leadership? Instead of just saying, okay, you know what, I'm recruiting this person they don't even know about it yet, and now they're going to come to the meeting and they're just going to be doing it. So why, from a leadership perspective, would it be a good idea to maybe see if they want to buy? Mm. And my bias, 
on leadership is that it's great to have, as a leader, you're prepping people for success. Uh, I would suggest that if you're a dictator style of leader, just tell them what they're going to do and when they're going to do it. You don't have to get buy-in. Right. But true leadership, from my perspective, is when people are engaged, fully informed, and they want to be part of the project, you get their best work, you get their discretionary effort, you get a smile on their face when things are actually happening. And so if you can start, and leaders attract other leaders, so they probably already had a busy calendar as well. That's right. why you wanted them on your project, because they're good, yeah. they know what they're doing, and they're ready to go. So to engage with the leaders, you need to demonstrate the same respect you want respect demonstrated to you. Cool. Makes sense. And it's often like great ideas are simple when you hear them. Mm. <laughs> but that seems like it's really... Simple. Yeah. But it makes a lot of sense, and I think a lot of times we're mm. So looking forward to Thursday and, and the facilitation. Thursday and you speaking again uh, on stage at Lead Yourself. And if you want to register, um, there's probably a couple of days between the time you see mm -hmm. this video and registering, uh, but it's uh, Lead Yourself 2018, or Lead Yourself Guelph 2018, you're able to find it on Eventbrite. So thank you, Carly, for doing this. Thank you, Rob, for having me, and Pleasure. I am in a car. <laughs> yeah, you are. We are. We're in a car. car. Awesome, thanks, bye. <laughs> bye.